So, uh, welcome to the inauguration stream of the Game of the Month. So let's get started. Unity of Command 2 is a World War II themed war game. And we're going to play through the campaign. Let's do Victory in the West. Set it up on normal mode. I'm not a hardcore gamer, so if you're looking for that kind of thing, uh, you might have to look elsewhere. I'm just here to chat, hang out, play games. Yes, we'll start a new game. We'll overwrite the old one. I'm not too attached to it. Not too married to it. Going to do a little background of the war up until this point. Right, and here's where we step in. The final battles of the North African Front. Alright, so we are in the uh, the campaign view, um, what's called the conference. So here we basically select uh, any upgrades we want to give to our headquarters or our generals, however you want to refer to those, as well as uh, purchase uh, cards, support cards, that we can use within the operations themselves. Um, Knowing a little bit about this, um, I know for sure um, transports aren't super needed in the early missions. I may go ahead and buy them. I definitely will probably buy an extra bomber asset, but let's take a look at our headquarters and see what we should upgrade. So I'm not too concerned about transferring steps or security units at this stage. Um, however, having these operations is super important, it's particularly feint attack and set piece attack. Those are really important operation abilities to have. So we're going to go ahead and purchase those. Excuse me. Uh, motor pool, I'll consider it. Um, bridges and entrenchments at this stage probably aren't necessary for the price. So let's go ahead and take a look at the British see what we so they already have that so I think maybe the only other thing I'm gonna get is the motor pool here for each and then once we have a little more prestige um, we'll look at increasing the range of the logistics trucks because uh, those are pretty important as well and in case you didn't know, the motor pool basically gives the infantry the ability to use trucks, gives them a little bit further extended movement. So let's see what we can buy. Looks like we can buy at least one bomber. All right. We don't have enough to buy the transport. I don't think that's super necessary. And this is free, so why don't we take it? All right. So now that pretty much ends our conference. Let's go ahead... So we're going to be fighting in the Mediterranean here. Let's go ahead and end the conference. And our first battle, Wadi Akarit. Akarit. I'm probably going to butcher these names. All right, let's start the scenario. Okay, here's our briefing. Our forces are converging towards a link-up in central Tunisia. U.S. 2nd Corps and British 1st Army are to try and force the passes of the eastern dorsal range and then cut off the Axis line of retreat from Wadi Akarit. Be wary of overextending your forces, though. At this stage in the Desert War, there is no need for unnecessary risks. We're good. I'm not one to take unnecessary risks. So we're actually in like a pre-combat phase right now because this icon's a little different. This is the battle preparation stage. 
So in this stage, we could take a look and see if we have like any reinforcements or steps to give our units. Since this is the first game of the first scenario, I don't think there's really a whole lot we need to do unless we wanted to purchase more units, which is this deployed paid step. See how I click the headquarters units here. We have three different headquarters. We have the British First Army, US Second Corps, and the British Eighth Army, good old Monty. And we have Patton in the Second Corps, and Anderson. I'm not familiar with that general. Um, but since we've pretty much already used most of our prestige, which is our points to purchase, you know, I'm not too concerned about buying any more reserves or anything like that. We should have enough on the starting scenario to get what we need to get done. Okay, so let's end the preparation phase and see what the enemy does. Alright, actually we just go ahead and get started right off the bat. So, looks like we have an air recon uh, that we could use to see what's going on behind enemy lines. Um, and we also have our bomber, or our air attack. Now we could play this card and uh, permanently add this as a theater asset. Um, I'll think about it. I don't think that's really necessary yet. So let's take a look at the situation. Um, we've got basically this is our main force, Mont Montgomery's force, that we need to push up into <clears throat> Sfax and then eventually Enfetaville. And we basically need an armored breakthrough up the coastline is what's going to happen. And we need to follow these rail lines because uh, that's going to be the easiest way to maintain easily maintain our supply. So what we need is to break through these entrenchments, these entrenched troops here. This little orange icon, the little shovel, means they're entrenched, which means they have a little bit higher defense values. Uh, and effectively cut off all of these armored units over here, because if we let those armored units and infantry escape, that's going to be bad news for us. It'll you know block our advance, or at least slow us down, and time is of the essence. As for the other passes here, we're pretty much going to be holding our ground. Um, we don't really have a whole lot to work with. We do have this one armored unit here that we can use to kind of rough them up a little bit. Um, but basically until we're starting to encircle and cut off their supply route, um, these units probably aren't going to move for the majority of the game. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and move some units up. Um, so that's their standard movement. Here's with extended movement. Um, let's see. We kind of want to fill up our lines here so they can't break out either. So we're going to move these recon units up. And let's see here. What are we going to do with this armor unit? <clears throat> yeah, I suppose we can move it up here as well. So we can at least rough them up a little bit. I'm just going to worry about moving and getting in position up there. I'll attack later once I kind of have a better idea of what's going on here. So pretty good attack odds there. Be terrible attack odds. All right, so we really need to break up these Panzer Grenadiers, these Africa Corps units. They are elite. And we can see they do eight damage per step. So that's eight, 16, 24 damage. And then they have uh, an armor value of four. We do have an armor value of five, but I think the entrenchment value combined with their steps and their um, veterancy uh, really make for a, uh, a difficult nut to crack here. So what we're going to do with these guys, since they have terrible attack values, um, we're actually just going to bombard them with suppressive fire to see if we can either suppress any of the steps or break the entrenchments. All right, so we did suppress one step. That's pretty good. Um, so these guys might have a little bit better odds here of breaking through. Um, we're going to use a oh, not enough command points. So we would use a set piece attack here that usually breaks um, entrenchments, but this attack alone could probably break it as well. So we're just going to go ahead and attack. We breached, which means we broke their entrenchments. We're going to step out of the way and let our armor move up and finish them off. Perfect. And we did get an overrun there, so we could move in here, but I feel like that's a really bad idea because all of these units have better odds against us and see how we're kind of like surrounded by these three hexes. 
uh, not the greatest situation to be in. I'm okay with just whittling them down if they move up another unit. You know, I can hit them again. Um, so rather than move in and, and attack, I'm going to actually move the armor back to where it was and move these infantry back. All right. Let's look at our odds here. Uh, one to one, not the not the greatest. Terrible odds uh, there. Here we've got pretty good odds. We're likely to do three steps worth of damage. Um, I could suppress them if I wanted to. Um, what about these guys? They already moved. We're just going to hit them with the, the tank unit just directly. They're breached. And then we're going to hit them with these guys. Those are pretty good odds. So same story here. I don't think I want to move my infantry up. Just because I'll be kind of surrounded. Um, I do kind of want to take control of that bridge. But uh, I'm not in desperate need to take this, this pass. Um, well, I could take it by turn three. But... Um, I'm a little worried about having my units surrounded, especially when they only have three steps and a relatively low defense value compared to everything's attack value. These uh, these Africa divisions here, these motorized divisions, worry me. Um, so we'll we'll leave that as is. I'm not too concerned about the um, bonus objectives just yet because these are pretty hard to take. And these guys, uh, we'll just go ahead. And no reason not to try and breach their fortifications. All right, pretty low odds of doing so, but no use in in, in uh, trying or no harm in trying. All right, on to the main course. So we need to take these railways. So my primary objective here is to try and blow these guys away. All right, air attack didn't do anything. So let's try. Getting a set piece ta attack in. That pushed them off. That's perfect. And then we can try moving our armor up. Let's see here. Who has the best odds here? 1 1. 1 1. It's probably all going to be the same. Oh, here we go. 0 1. These guys are elite. That's why. So we're going to try and blow them away. They're going to counter attack. That's fine. All right. See what our odds are here. Zero to two. That's pretty good odds. Breached. That's good. Again, we'll move the infantry back, make way for the armor. Oh. Not great odds with everyone else. That's a shame. I think it's because these guys are also elite. They have four steps compared to. See, these guys are elite. They're only doing one. Hmm. Not making the advances I would like to make on this turn. We'll keep them there. They are elite. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, all of these just have terrible attack odds. And these 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 areas right here, I believe, are like uh, unenterable, uh, just because it's it, the desert's so harsh and so terrible here. It's just impossible to get supply through. Um, let's move these guys up a little bit. Definitely not as much advance as I would have liked to make this turn, um, but. We're doing okay. Uh, yeah, until we can pound them in further. Now we could activate the additional bomber asset here. I'm considering it. As well as we have the naval bombardment available to us. Now, I'm still a little confused on the naval bombardment. Um, just because it, it, it seems kind of inconsistent what I can and can't target with it. But... Let's actually add the B-26. I did buy it. Might as well use it. Let's see if we can break these guys a little more. There we go. That's a beautiful suppression. All right. So now we can move these guys back. One, 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 zero, one. That's good. Looking for the best possible odds here. So we're going to move up the New Zealands. 
There, we knocked out one. Perfect. Now let's check our armor. Here we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Knock them out of the way. Let's keep breaking through with our armor. Eliminate that unit. Perfect. Now, I say that, that was totally worth it, I think. Keep them blocked off here. Uh, let's see. 3-0, 3-0, 3 Just seeing if I could hit this other unit, but it doesn't look wise. So we're going to pull back our elite infantry so they can recover. We'll just fill in with some less good infantry, let's say. Okay. Let's just cycle through our units, see if there's anything else we can do this turn. Alright, these guys. Yeah, there's no reason. This armor unit had the overrun. We're fine not doing anything there. Uh, sure, why not? No, oh, they're set to no retreat. That's not fun. Okay, we'll keep them there for now. Alright, anything else? Yeah. Not much else looks too viable this turn without major losses. Okay. I think that'll pretty much end our turn. We'll see what the enemy does. Oof. Alright, they're all falling back. Okay, let's use our intel here. I want to see what's all up ahead. Okay, just the just the HQ. So this is a problem. They seem to be. We did not manage to lock them out last turn, which is unfortunate. Um, but if we check their supply, they are not far from being broken. So they're going to try and hit this unit and try and break free, probably. And they're probably going to try and head back towards the objective. So we got to stop this this route from happening and try and trap them in as best we can. Okay. 1-1. One, one. Press the advantage here. Check our supply. We're okay. We're all right on supply. Uh, yeah, we'll extend and move these guys here, up the road. Okay, let's see what we can do with the armor, if anything. Bit of a war of attrition here. We could take those prisoners, not too worried about it. Um, let's see. I really need to focus down this guy, so we're going to air attack him. There's one suppression. There we go. Now he's fully suppressed. This should be a pretty easy fight. Um, who's my elite? I want to save my elite unit. There we go. Perfect. Then we're going to move this guy up. Hit this tank unit. Okay. an overrun. Very nice. Um, let's see. Let's keep our vehicles up the road if we can. Perfect. I'm going to take that supply dump in just a moment. Odds. Didn't breach. Some okay suppression there. These guys up here. Get these guys in. Take them on. 
Still entrenched, that's surprising. New Zealanders to uh, finish him off here. Didn't quite finish. Oh, we got the overrun. Might as well press the advantage. Perfect. These guys will help fill the gap. Alright, any other units? This guy. Yeah, we could move them up. I'm gonna take the supply dump. We're gonna move these guys up here. Alright, how are we doing it? Okay, we have now cut off their supply. However, they still have an, an escape route right, right here, which is kind of annoying. That's going to be a problem. So we couldn't quite close this gap. Um, hmm. I don't think there's really much I can do to address that. Unless there's something I'm not seeing. Let's move these guys up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, we'll come back to this area if there's anything further we can do. I could move these guys up. I don't see why I would need to, unless my zone of control... Uh, my zone of control could at least stop some of them in their tracks. It might be worth moving them up. So each unit exerts a one hex zone of control around it which should stop enemies in their tracks if it works like normal war games. I, I didn't read too deeply into it, um, but I have to imagine that's how it works. So we, even though we're up against tanks, um, I, think might, I think it might be worth pushing them up just because defensively they're fine with those 17 pounders. You can see on the right there, they give us a plus four armor defense our anti-tank uh, guns. So they're not great offensively, but defensively we should be fine. We should be relatively safe here. Let's see if that stops them, or at least slows them down a little bit. Let's see if we can find... Yep, yeah, have him fill the gap just in case. Okay. Trying to break through. Okay, so let's slam these guys. There's 0 and 2. Let's try and suppress them. Perfect. Go to overrun. Move up. Um, I could finish them off, or I could try and attack. I have just finish them off. Oh, still got another overrun. Beautiful. Let's see, how about these guys? We'll move them up. We'll see if they can break the entrenchment. They got three suppression. Perfect. Breached, and they fell back. Lovely. All right, we'll go ahead and take this. We took it. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so we got a card, I think, for that. Um, possibly. What did that give us? Or gave us some special units, possibly. Let's check the, uh, what is this, British First Army? Yeah, it gave us this, this Churchill unit that we can attach, which is very tempting. Um, let's go ahead and see. We can just attach it to that unit. Yeah. No reason not to, honestly. Let's push the advantage. These guys are disrupted, unfortunately, so we can't use their artillery. Let's check the supply. I mean, there's a pretty low chance of disruption there, but the rolls are what they are. Um, might as well just take these guys to Pound Town. All right, no, no breaking of entrenchments. All right, who else do we have left? So we can move these guys if we wanted to. I might move them down to take the road. The only downside then is that they're they could possibly get hit by two units here, but I don't know. I've never seen them attack. I want to protect my supply road. These guys are just gonna stay put. Actually, work on this guy. We could move them on the road. I think 
it's better to keep them here. Hmm. Pretty low chance that this is going to attack me. Um, and like push forward. It's not definitely not going to break through my infantry. So I think it is pretty safe to move this here. Just for the hell of it. This unit's still basically trapped. Um, but yeah, we have supply disrupted all along this line, but unfortunately we weren't able to close the gap here just yet. I could move this guy up. I think that's risky. He only has three steps. He's a veteran unit, so I kind of want to keep him up. Maybe I should, though. It will give me an HQ bonus. We'll take the chance. Alright, so we could specialize in emergency supply for free, or we could spend prestige to up command points, or specialize in rear guard. Um, at this stage, I really want the command points. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Alright. These guys don't want to hit anything with them. Alright, I think that will do it for our turn. Let's see what the enemy does. Yes, so I do have some units out of the supply network. Let's double check who that is. Alright, so the tank unit here. Oh, they are already out of supply one turn. I could drop emergency supply on them. Yeah, why not? I wasn't using my command points for anything else this turn. Alright, so now he'll be on a supply again next turn, but he'll still be able to attack at least. If I would have left him there out of supply, he probably wouldn't have been able to attack. Alright, end the turn. Oof. It's better. Panzer units hurt. Oh, 2 KIA. Got a rough roll on that one. Alright, they're trying to form a line here. Makes sense. So these guys are still stuck. Let's see. Are there any reinforcements I can give them? No. That's unfortunate. Okay. This is a problem. Big problem. I need to break through these units. I have a chance of wiping this unit out. That's more beneficial to me. I'll move them later. Um, let's figure out what we should do with our infantry. Let's finish these guys off. Take some prisoners. Yeah, let's hook up our supply route here. All right, we may need them to move up. They only have one step, though. That's brutal. All right. Can we reinforce them? Nope. Do we have any reinforcements whatsoever? Nope. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. OK. Well, I'd say our main point of pressure needs to still be along this rail line, so we're going to go ahead and bomb the crap out of this guy. Beautiful. Alright, we should be able to shove him out of the way. Good. Bring up the next armored unit. Let's see, do I want to use the veteran? This guy... It's four steps. Four steps. 
Doesn't matter too much which I use. I'm gonna use some of my non-veteran units with lower steps. Might as well just keep smashing them. Got a nice overrun there. Not liking those odds. Two zero one zero. infantry let's start open up our let's move this unit I'm not as concerned about the infantry let's just get rid of their tanks they're fast movers that would be ideal C. All right, still in supply there. And let's move up our infantry to kind of cut them off here. These guys, one. They fell back. That's good. Move up our American infantry to finish them off. Perfect. Take some prisoners. All right, now we can start moving these infantry up. One, 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 one. Yeah. They're all kind of one, one odds here. I'd rather risk my non veteran infantry to start with. them back. Cool. All right. I really just have that unit in the mountains there. I'm not all that concerned about them. Um, I suppose they could potentially threaten supply. Um, I definitely don't want to waste armor resources on them, though. So let's move up our armor a little bit further, take those prisoners, and just cut off this arm, this unit here. You can still move through the forest, but this guy I'm worried about. He's weak. He's probably this guy. I'm probably going to lose this unit next turn because he's probably going to attack him. No reason not to. Um. We'll just keep this unit hanging back here to keep an eye on these guys. They may try and cut off this supply line here. We'll see what they do and take those prisoners. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. The armor up there. Keep these infantry moving. Try and keep them all close to the supply lines. Alright, we do have an extra truck. We may need to use it to kind of push supply up this road. So let's check our supply resources here. We need to bump this up one. Yep, perfect. Okay. Alright, let's check up here. What can we do up here? Could bombard these guys in the mountains. Um, I don't really feel like I need to. I feel like I should just ignore them. Honestly. If they want to sit in the mountains, that's fine. 0 02. 02. These guys are pretty weak. We might want to cut south and try and link up and take Fade Pass, since I that's a potential bonus objective by turn four. So let's just do that. Boom. Remove these guys. Let's see here. What's their... Alright. We'll 
we'll go ahead and take that. Thank you very much. We've got a transport truck. Very nice. That was nice of them to leave that behind for us. And we'll move these guys up here. We're doing on supply. We're doing okay. We'll keep these guys locked down. These guys, I'm not sure. Uh, when do I need to take Cairo in? Turn five. Yeah, I might as well move them up. Prepare to bombard with artillery here. These guys can stay. Um, I'm a little worried this is a little exposed. Um, if they came down from the mountains, but... I guess I'm not too worried. If they came down from the mountains and broke their entrenchment, then they'd uh, they'd pretty much be screwed. So, not too crazy worried about that. Those guys got disrupted this turn, so I can't use artillery. Um, is there anything else I should be doing? I could attack them one to one. I may as well wait to soften them up. I'm not too worried about timing just yet. I've got two turns to take this. I'm probably going to take it. Okay, may as well just bombard here for fun. Or suppress, rather. No beans. Okay. Let's take another look at supply. Anyone out of supply? Nope. Good there. Anyone else I can use besides them? Remember, no unnecessary risks. No reason to attack stuff I don't need to attack. Kill their supply. Win the win the fight before it's fought. Isn't that a Sun Tzu thing? Okay. I think we're okay. Um should I move that unit up? Hmm. Yeah, may as well. Actually, no. No, we need to defend the pass. Let's defend the pass for now. Let's end the turn. Let me attack that guy. Okay. Oh, we got the overrun, though. German armor is pretty scary. He got away. It's unfortunate. Let's see if we can find where he went with recon. So we have an infantry unit in Sfax. Oh, he just went right here. Okay. Um. All right, how should we approach this? I really should just finish these guys off. Get that over with. Okay. Let's take their supply dump. And knock these guys out. Fresh unit. Ooh, didn't take them. Okay. Are they doing supply? They are out of supply right there. We'll move back to the road. Move the American armor up. Take out these guys. Perfect. And may as well move. Uh, we'll keep them. Let's see, where can this guy go to? Yeah, we'll move up. These guys will take their place. Yeah, we'll definitely take the specialized suppressive fire. Heck yes. Move our infantry up here. Get that unit. 
out of movement points though. Okay. Looking good. We took a lot of beatings, but I think we've taken care of a good chunk of the German armor. And I didn't even use my uh, air assets, I just realized, but that's okay. Maybe we can get up to Sfax here. Oh, it's just a green unit defending it? I may not even... <laughs> yeah. They just gave that to me. Fortunately, I can't take it. That's annoying. Not enough movement points to take it this turn. Oh, it's because there's an HQ unit in there? Yeah, I hate that in this game. That's one thing I don't like is how HQs somehow block things and require more movement points to, to over overtake. Hello, Blue. Blue just joined the chat. Um, yeah, that's one of the more annoying parts in the game is how the HQs block movement. We got a lot of options here. Um, I might as well move this unit up. He's out of supply. Let's try and fix this supply situation. If, he, if he's out of supply one turn, it's not the end of the world. Okay, we do own the territory at least. Hour for Domino's Pizza. <laughs> yeah, I think they probably did forget to make it blue. It's a long time to wait for pizza. Let's move everyone up. Okay. These guys, may as well finish off the infantry here. Okay. That's unfortunate that we weren't able to take Sfax this turn. Just out of movement points. Uh, oh, we should probably move our HQ up, though. Um, so we are starting to get out of range of some units. So let's press uh, M. Let's move them up to this junction for now. I'll move them into SFAX proper um, once we take it. All right, what objectives do we have left? Okay, good. These guys are no longer disrupted. Um, we'll hold off on the suppressive fire. Let's see if we can take Kaura on this turn. Let's bombard him. Perfect. So we could take three, three. That's pretty much as much damage as I'm probably going to do anyway. Nice overrun. We'll take the town. Elite replacements? Heck yes. We'll hit them again. Get out of here. Take their prisoners, too. That's tempting. Let's get these cards out of the way for the moment. All right, we just cut off supply for all those guys. Uh, they may try and take Kaurin back. So I'm going to wrap these guys around to the rear. See if we can stop them. Or at least slow them down. We do have a armored unit up here. Oh, man. Might be able to, be able to take this town this turn. Beautiful. All right. We are in supply. 
along this route. Okay, anywhere else out of supply? Yes. Let's put those guys back in supply. I do have an extra truck I could play uh, with the card. Let's take a look at that. Or enable them forever you to the entire card has no Riku value. Um wait, do I need this? Yeah, I might. Hmm. It's only this guy that's out of supply. Once he gets back on the rail, which is my intention. He'll be fine. I could also potentially move my supply dump up. That could be a little risky. So if we, we would knock two units out of supply by doing that. Let's see what two units those are. Just infantry. Not the end of the world. Um, I think I'm going to do that instead. So we'll knock those two out. We'll move the supply dump up to Sfax next turn, probably. Same here. What are we doing here? Is this really helping us? It is. Okay. And this guy. This guy can probably be smaller as well. There. We just freed up three trucks for next turn. Oh. This guy. All right, so far we've got all of our bonus objectives. We are going to take a point hit for not taking Sfax this turn. Really bummed about that. Elite steps to units. We're okay. Let's, by the way, let's check our reinforcements. See if we've gotten any steps back. We do have an US infantry step. Can't use it. Can't use that. Can reinforce. Oh, yes. We will reinforce that armor unit. We're going to move US this HQ up as well. Everyone's kind of moving up. So let's move this guy. to here. British first definitely needs to move up. Hmm. So this is kind of risky. I could put them in there, but then they'd, they'd be kind of undefended, and we do have this armor and infantry sitting out here. I may keep this HQ back for a turn until we have a better secured line of approach here, once we've kind of met forces. Okay, let's double check, see if we have any units left to use. Okay. Guess we'll take more prisoners while we're at it. We're good. May as well try the bombard again here. A suppression fire. Leveled them up. That's something. Still didn't break their fortification, though. Okay. Let's end the turn. Yeah, that HQ on that final objective really can, can screw you because of the whole movement point thing. Let's 
go ahead and take this with our infantry if we can. No recons left. Could try and take that HQ. I think they'll sit tight until I can bring everyone up. Everyone up the rail line here. I need armor more than anything else up front. Let's move this guy up here, I think. Actually, let's undo that. We'll move the infantry into the town. These guys will stay on the rail line. And then we'll move the HQ, the British First HQ, up into the town. Infantry are generally better at defending in cities and towns than armor. Um, get the US, well... Again, we'll move British HQ into Sfax. And we'll move US second. Hmm. The US forces, I'm not entirely sure. I may try and have them meet up here. I mean, there's really nothing between us and them to stop me from doing so. So, second core. Yeah, might as well follow up the line. Take some prisoners along the way. Yeah. May as well just start moving our armor north. These guys will be... Oh, no, I'm not too worried about supply. i got to redeploy the trucks. We should be okay by the end of the turn. So now, where to move US 2nd HQ? Maybe up here? And only our infantry is temporarily out of supply. Well, not out of out of range, rather. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Our infantry is probably not going to be doing a whole heck of a lot. At least not next turn. All right, so now let's address our supply situation. We need to put a new dump here. And we should probably put a dump here. What are we doing? Pretty good. 
And we'll save the other one in case we need it somewhere else in an emergency. All right. So pretty much the only things we have left to use are these infantry up here, I think. Oh, so we do have some British units here. Let's move them into here. We'll try and take that HQ next turn. Uh, they are out of supply. Interesting. Or maybe they just rolled bad on the disruption. They could just be disrupted. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Um, I really wish I had a recon. Because, I mean, these units could technically just stroll right in, but I'm pretty sure there's infantry up there. Yep. Those guys are just green. There we go. Move these British units around. Got them trapped. Ow. That kind of hurt. Well, that kind of takes away a lot of the threat to the HQ. Oh, wait, no. There's still these two units here. Um, yeah, we'll leave these guys put to defend. Sweet. I, that's might all be we have left. Might as well just use the air attack on these guys here. There's always a chance we get a KIA like that. Perfect. Alright, anyone else left? These guys could take the dump, but again, I want to keep the British HQ defended here. All right, I think that's everyone. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh, um, well, let's check supply. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Ouch. <laughs> that's all he could do. I think I may have, like, wiped them all out. It's pretty impressive. Okay. Uh, so we have a couple infantry here. Really shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm not too worried about the guys in the mountains. Move our armor up. And we're gonna hit the town. That's our main objective here. I wiped him out. Move our infantry up. Took the town. Let's uh, finish these guys off. One to one. Not the greatest odds with our armor here. We can't move them. Shame. We'll keep them tied up. This is pretty much over at this point. play it as if we still do have a turn. I think it does require infantry to actually capture the HQs, which I suppose makes sense. Sort of. There's usually infantry mixed in with the tanks, but 
I won't, uh, I won't get too worked up about it. I've been working on the railroad all oh, the live long day. Again, we're just going to pretend that we have another turn. Poor Blue. He just wants his pizza, man. Oh, that will leave him there. Objectives completed. You are victorious. Bum, 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 bum. Well, in that scenario, I think that went pretty well. All things considered. Not the greatest breakthrough in the beginning. I thought it was looking pretty bad at the beginning there, but then they just kind of made some weird moves that allowed me to just wipe out all their armor within the first few turns. <laughs>